Here is going to be the reason why La Liga is terrified of La Mina Mal. In the beginning, Barcelona introduced their new youngster in May of last season. They placed La Mina Mal up against Real Betis in the last 8 minutes of the match. At just 15 years old and 9 months, he became the youngest player to ever play in La Liga for the club this century. The previous record was held by Vicente Martinez, who was 16 years old and 280 days. Back in 1941, Asufati was a whole year older when he played his first match on a professional level. He was 16 years old and 9 months. So when the world saw Yamal come in on the 86th minute, he came in for Gavi. And within those 7-8 to eight minutes that he did play, he had two very impactful moments. One of them was when he stole the ball away from Montoya and created a goal scoring opportunity that tested the goalkeeper. The other one was he chipped the ball over the defense and it went straight to Dembele. It was a pass that really did resemble Ronaldinho's pass to Messi for his first goal. And at that moment we knew that La Yamal was going to be somebody so special. Fast forward into the preseason of this season, the whole idea was to have Dembele start on the right wing, make Rafinha a second choice with Lamin Yamal rotating maybe on the right wing position and also on the left wing position. That was the main idea for Xavi Hernandez but Barcelona were hit with a big surprise a couple of weeks later. We saw Dembele say, I no longer want to play at Barcelona, I want to move to PSG and Barcelona lost a big time player. Xavi Hernandez really needed to readjust. From there we saw that Xavi Hernandez had a clear plan. He wanted to use Rafinha as the first choice with La Minha Mal being moved on into second choice instead of third choice. But then came September 30th where many saw Rafinha get injured for at the very least four to five weeks. And throughout that time, La Minha Mal was the only option and La Minha Mal had to play throughout that time. Rafinha did miss four games. Rafinha yet again also got injured on January 12th all the way until February 10th of 2024 missing seven games. Yet again, leaving La Minimal, the right wing position all to himself and taking full responsibility. La Minimal throughout those times did so well that even when Rafinha was available, La Minimal still started and the fans were questioning why doesn't La Minimal get some rest? Why doesn't he just sit on the bench and have Rafinha take over like how the plan was originally supposed to be? But La Minimal has been so effective, Xavi Hernandez could not bench him even if he wanted to. And now today, Yamal has accumulated 37 matches and playing 2,000 and 48 minutes in all competitive competitions, leading to 6 goals and 4 assists. He was able to have an assist versus Villarreal, which led to a 4-3 win, 1 goal versus Granada in a 2-2 tie, 1 assist versus Antwerp, which was a 3-2 loss, 1 goal versus Osasuna in a 2-0 win, 1 assist versus Real Betis, which was a 4-2 win, 1 goal versus Athletic Club in the Copa del Rey, which led to Barcelona losing 4-2, 2 goals versus Granada in a match that ended 3-3, 1 assist versus Celta, which ended in a 2-1 win, and then last Lastly, the goal against Mallorca, which happened very recently and led towards Barcelona winning the match and gaining the three points. And so as you can see here, many clubs have been having a very tough time trying to take down FC Barcelona. Some were successful, some were not. But for sure, when a club had to face La Minha Mala on the pitch, that is the one player that could not be stopped. Yes, you could have stopped Barcelona as a whole, but you could not stop La Minha Mala and his dribbling with the ball. And we're talking about a player that is only 16 years old. We feel like he has been 16 years old for the past two or three years already. But because he has played so much, that is why it gives out that illusion. But he's still yet again only 16 years old and will not be turning 17 until later this year. La Minimal is so young that he has already done more than Lionel Messi when Messi was 16 years old. La Minimal has already been introduced to a professional level way earlier. Messi was not introduced into the first team until he was 17 years old and three months back on October 16th, 2004. So the numbers and the records that Amenia Male is setting out, it is outrageous. There is a lot of maturity in his game because of the way that he does defend, the way that he likes to bait the defenders and beat the defenders, and every time he makes a attacking decision, he picks those attacking decisions in correct moments. He's very precise, very picky, but he makes sure that when he does attack, it is when Barcelona are positioned well to defend in case he does lose the ball. He's very mature, he's very well aware of his surroundings and his environment. And to Yamal, he has two decisions. He can take on players or he chooses to pass the ball to one of the forwards inside the box and he is so elite when it comes to finding his target man. His crosses are just amazing. As a matter of fact, he is so composed when dribbling with the ball that he often creates a lot of goal creating actions. If you can see here in the rankings, when it comes to goal creating actions, La Minimal is in 5th place with a total of 15. The only 4 players that are above him is Mason Greenwood, Alex Garcia, Nico Williams and Savio. All of these players are at the very least 4 years older 
than La Minya Mal. So this is very impressive in terms of efficiency and how many goal creating actions you can make per 90 minutes. La Minya Mal shoots right up into third place. The only two players above him is Nico Williams and Angel Correa. And right above Rafinha, Brahim Diaz, Mason Greenwood, Savio, Alex Beina. It is really, really amazing. And here's going to be a comparison between La Minya Mal, Nico Williams, and Savio. Two total players that Barcelona have been eyeing on. Many wanted to see how he does compare with the other young top wingers in La Liga. And as you can see here, La Minya Mal is superior in key passes. He is superior in expected goals and assists and very close to off actions, carries, and dribbles. That is really good. Now, we can see that Nico Williams and Savio are better than him by a lot in terms of assist. But the reason why La Minya Mal does not win in that area, but very good in key passes is because he knows how to create chances, but usually his chances never really get converted into goals because of the way that Barcelona as a collective lack goals and how many chances they do miss. La Minya Mal can set you up so well, but if those forwards or defenders or midfielders don't put the ball behind the net, those key passes will never be converted into assist, which is why La Minya Mal is so much lower than Nico Williams and Savio. As you can see here, when you compare Barcelona's expected goals and their actual goals, they're underperforming. Barcelona have 57 goals, but they were expected to score 61.8. In comparison, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Girona are exceeding their expected goals, which is really good. Real Madrid, based off the chances they created, they're supposed to be having 49 goals by now, but they have 56. Atletico, they're supposed to be having 49 goals, but they have 54. Same thing with Girona. They're supposed to have 46, but they have 57. This also explains the reason why we say many clubs successfully do stop Barcelona, but it is extremely hard to defend La Minya Mal himself. So at this early in his career, it is amazing to see how he mastered being effective in all levels on the left flank, meaning that in the final third, he knows how to maneuver with the ball in tight spaces. He knows how to make Kunde and Gundogan better. This is his strongest position when he has Kunde making an overlapping run or Gundogan being ready for a 1-2, almost acting like a wall, very similar to how Henry acted for Lionel Messi. In the middle third, you can see that La Minya Mal still doesn't stop. He knows how to take on players when he is being pressed on the sidelines. And that's a huge plus for Barcelona because it helps Barcelona go on the counter much faster. And in the defensive third, when he is in deep areas and he has to defend, you can see that he often likes to track back and win the ball with Koundé who is one of his greatest partners. And La Minya Mal is the one that has the responsibility to dribble the ball forward and get the ball to the middle of the pitch. And so he is everywhere on that right side or left side. And let me tell you, this was something that La Minya Mal was not comfortable with in terms of defending because Chapin Hernandez said back on August 16th, 2023, and I quote, La Minya Mal has difficulties when defending, but this is normal. He's only 16 years old and what he gives us in the attack compensates for it. But you can tell that La Minya Mal took those words and he said, okay, don't worry coach I will get better in that aspect of the game and then as you can see here on the heat map La Minya Mal sees a lot more of the ball in the defensive area he is definitely not that right winger that only likes to be up top and have the ball up top and that's about it no La Minya Mal wants to show maturity and be responsible to make Barcelona better as you can see here this basically explains La Minya Mal's game his progressive carries is amazing his successful take-ons is also amazing the touches and the progressive passes received is also really good and then you look at the tackle interceptions and blocks tell me which right winger that is 16 years old would have a 96 percentile on tackles same thing with interceptions 89 blocks 96 these are really high defensive numbers this proves that from a defensive standpoint he tracks back very well he has good timing and he makes a lot of interceptions and so bravo to la minimal for improving his game also being very effective on the attack taking the responsibility to make barcelona better creating chances at this point it is very difficult to see who is the better right winger at the moment, Rafinha or La Minya Mal. But I do believe that everybody is opting for La Min because of what he provides from a creative standpoint and his eye for goal. We'll see if La Minya Mal gets a start against Napoli. It should be very, very exciting. That is going to be wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.